Weather forecast has not done a lot to brighten our days. It's been snowy, it's been cold, and the sun hasn't been out for some time. All of that together, tied with the stresses of this time of year, can take a toll on our mental health. And that's why it's important that we always remember this time of year and all the time to check on the people we care about. Here's Sammy. Folks that are calling 988 at any given time of the year are really calling in, talking about any struggles that they may be having. 988 is the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, helping people considering suicide as well as their loved ones. Minnesota has seen about a 43% increase in calls since the three-digit number launched this summer. There is hope. There is help. Reach out if you find yourself in a place where you know you're having thoughts of suicide or maybe struggling at any given day. Just know that there is hope, there is help, and our 988 Lifeline Center staff are available 24-7, 365 days out of the year. Year-round help with or without the stress that can come with the holidays. Most people really think that there's more suicides at the end of the year in November and December when the holidays happen. And in fact, November and December are the lowest numbers of suicides that we have throughout the year. When people actually come together and they're around people. Dr. Dan Reidenberg is the executive director of save.org, a nonprofit dedicated to suicide prevention. So the holidays can be a way to check in with a lot of loved ones and friends and family. Absolutely. The holidays are a great time for people to be able to say, you don't seem like yourself lately or what's going on? You just you just haven't been the way you normally are. And then an invitation to say, well, how can I help? Can we talk about this? How do you start that conversation? I think it can be a really difficult conversation to have with someone that you love, that you care about. Unfortunately, it is a difficult conversation. It's one that people think it's difficult to have, and that keeps them from doing it. And then we sometimes see tragedies. We see people getting sicker and sicker. They feel more isolated. They feel like they can't talk about it to anybody because nobody has given them that opening to actually start the conversation. So it's really easy to be able to say, hey, you've been kind of down lately, or you seem more quiet lately than you have been normally or I haven't seen you laugh in the last four or five days. It's important to check on the people who also seem very happy as well, right? It is incredibly important to check on everyone, whether they seem happy on the outside or they don't seem happy on the outside and they're very clearly struggling. Check in with people, just ask them, how are you doing? What's going on? Dan says sometimes people don't ask about what's going on because they're scared of the answer. But he says it's important to remember these questions save lives. If you or someone you know is struggling, you can get immediate help by calling or texting 988. Again, that resource is available 24-7, 365 days a year. And Sammy, I'm so glad you asked Dan about the people who seem to have it all. We lost an incredible man in Twitch. Uh, by suicide, according to NBC News today, that was the source of death. And, and that's somebody that on the outside, everybody said his whole life was perfect. Yeah, exactly. And that's why he emphasizes that you want to genuinely ask people how they're doing, genuinely ask everybody how they're doing, because sometimes we just don't expect it from happy people. All right. Thanks so much, Sammy. We appreciate it.